Hey guys, Dan here. In this video, we're going to go over the keyword research page of Key Search. Uh, there's a lot to go over in this video, so I'm going to go over things pretty quickly because I just don't want this video to drag on and on. Um, so basically, the keyword research page is the heart and soul of Key Search. It's probably going to be your main working area. When you load up the page, you'll see at the top there's this search bar. This is where you type in your keyword phrase, a niche, whatever you wanted to get related keywords about. You'll have uh, a location options here where you could select specific locations or you could just uh, leave it set to the default all locations. And then you have your search type. Uh, the default is related keywords, but you have our key search database, Google Suggest, Bing Suggest. These are the uh, keyword suggestions, where we are finding the keyword suggestions from. We also, you could type in a, use a domain and get your competitors keywords or import a list. So there's a lot of options here uh, for finding related keywords. If you are unsure, just leave it set to the default related keywords. That's the usual search um, type, but you may also want to use the key search database. These two will give you, you know, the, the best um, related keywords for your uh, search. Um, so, all right, so we search dog leases, you'd press search, and then your keywords will show up in the right-hand column here. Uh, so your search will show, uh, once it's loaded, it will show you the difficulty for the keyword that you search, where you'll see our difficulty meter here. Also on the right, you'll see the difficulty score, as well as search volume, CPC, uh, PPC. So you got a lot of information here. Um, so on the left hand side, you have your search trends graph. This shows you the uh, how the keyword's been trending over the last 12 months, as well as our domains table. This domains table basically shows you which domains are available for that keyword. So the keyword is dog leashes, so dogleashes.com, dogleashes.net. Um, the X uh, means that the don't, that domain is not available. A check mark means that it should be available. Not always when there's a check mark, it's, it's complicated, but uh, most of the time when there's a check mark, it means those domains are available. If you don't like the default domains that we're showing for, you can change them here. Select your own um, eight domains that you want to see the info for. Now we have for each keyword, um, we show the front page uh, SERP analysis. Um, sometimes it'll be 10 URLs, but Google's not really showing top 10 anymore. A lot of times it's five URLs or nine URLs it's all over the place. So we show whatever is found on the first page to judge the competition by. And you'll see all the URLs and specific stats um, so you can dive in even further with your with your analysis. Um, I know we show our difficulty score, but if you really want to see where each URL has strengths and weaknesses in the top 10, you can see that in the SERP analysis page. Then we have our rankings tra uh, slash traffic tab. This uses our rankings traffic database. Um, so if you click that, it'll show you the uh, how many you are how many keywords are ranking in our database in the top 100 for this specific URL, our estimated traffic for the URLs, the uh, same, the amount of keywords ranking for that domain and the estimated uh, traffic for the domain. You could click on the numbers here and you could actually see the keywords that that URL that we found that URL is ranking for. There's so many cool things you could do with this uh, um, feature right here. I can't go into all of them right now, but we've got a bit uh, a tutorial on that as well. So you could just click to learn about this feature. And uh, it's just a great way where you could start really um, picking off some of your competitors' keywords um, and stuff like that. So I definitely learn about this feature. Then you can check the social stats by clicking that. We'll show you some of the social stats there as well as at the bottom, usually you'll see a search engine keyword suggestions. If Google has keyword suggestions at the bottom of the front page results, they usually will show eight keywords. Those will be these keywords here. Uh, you could click on them to load that search up. So if you click, uh, no, cancel please, but you could um, use those to search. Those won't always show. It depends on the actual keyword being searched. 
All right, so back to the SERP analysis there. Up top here, you can export some of this information to PDF or CSV. Um, we also have our deep analysis feature. The deep analysis feature just dives in further to this specific keyword. Um, I'll click it right here. It can sometimes take up to a 30 seconds to a minute to load because it's gathering a lot of information. So you see a lot of the same information here, but you'll also see uh, the Alexa rank for the URLs, the domain age. Uh, once again, the social stats you'll get in the um, in the deep analysis feature, and then LSI keywords. Uh, if you're not sure what LSI keywords are, we have a tutorial and write up on that as well. Um, for those of you that do know, you know how uh, important LSI keywords can be. So the deep analysis feature will show you those as well, splitting up into one word, two word, and three word LSI keywords. Um, all right, so let's move on over here. So we have our uh, keyword suggestions here. You could quickly flip through and uh, see the different analysis for each keyword. If a keyword doesn't have the difficulty score checked yet, you could click to check it. You could click multiple at the same time. Um, you don't have to do one at a time. You could uh, select, let's say, two or three or as many as you want and click the bulk check feature. Um, and that'll search those keywords. Um, so you don't have to do one at a time with that as well. Uh, let's say we wanted to compare some keywords. So we have uh, these two keywords, uh, dog leashes and dog leash. Let's say we wanted to compare them. We could select them both and click the compare and then boom, it shows you them side by side. If you wanted to quickly compare the stats all in one, uh, area and we have export options for that as well. If you wanted to save these to a list, um, you were making keyword lists with the best keywords, just click the save keywords button and it'll bring up our list options. So you could save it to an already created list. You could add to a new list, um, demo list. And then if you clicked add to list, it'll uh, create a list and add those keywords right to that list. Um, then we have a bunch of export options for uh, this page here. Um, too many to talk about here, but you could export to CSV, TXT, PDF. You could copy the clipboard. You could export just the keywords, the keywords with stats, the keywords uh, with the analysis table. So there's a lot of different ways to export. We tried to give you as many uh, ways to export the keywords as possible. Um, you can use our filter there. So let's say you wanted to filter all keywords between 1,000 and 5,000. Um, you could click filter and it'll show you only the keywords with search volume between those numbers. Uh, you could use multiple filters at the same time. So let's say only keywords, only uh, keywords that have the word dog in it from 1,000 to 5,000 search volume and a CPC over $1. Uh, we could filter that as well, and if you want to just go back from the start, just click the reset filter button there. Um, then we have our search history. This little folder right here shows you your search history. Um, you can just click uh, a pass keyword there, and it'll load right up, load your stats right up there. So. Um, that is basically the keyword research page rundown, guys. Um, I guess that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.